Hey, enthusiasts, what's happening? This is Salty Language, episode 658. The sexiest podcast on the network. Hi, Brian. Ooh. How's it going? Ooh, it's oh, it's good, good, man. <laughs> oh. I'm tired. Sore. Nice. It's Wednesday. We're recording on a weird yep. day again. I blame my children. <laughs> oh, okay. She was laughing so hard she was crying. So, okay. Oh, okay. Well, okay. That's I funny. thought she was dying. So, yeah. Okay. Well, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. My uh, over the weekend. Uh, I, I know I told you. Might as well fill in the audience. And then I'll tell you what weird dinner we had. We uh, okay. also, hold on real quick. Got my catfish going. Bought, I bought some bush lattes oh, nice. over the weekend. Got the tackle box. My <laughs> dumb ass didn't realize uh, every can in there is the same fish. I kept pulling cans oh, on. I'm like, okay. fuck, another catfish. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because, like I said, they tied that to, like, uh, I forgot which dating oh, really? uh, app it is. There's, like, a stupid badge oh, you can get. I was like, well, a, a guy I work I, with is collecting the cans. It. And he's like, dude, you have oh, catfish? Okay. I'm like, yeah. He's like, can I get one? Because <laughs> he, he doesn't have a catfish. So they have different fish, but each yeah, case each is say, the same Yeah, each fish. case is the is same that, fish. Okay, but, okay uh, fair enough. I'm doing a Google search. I almost typed in bush lots. <laughs> that probably would have came up. <laughs> probably. But so yeah. the kids, you know, over the weekend, they're like, hey, Tuesday dinner. All right, okay, cool. Tuesday dinner it is. And then and then Monday comes yeah. around, and Logan's like, hey, I got to work on Tuesday. And Leah's like, well, I'm like, okay, well, how about we do, you know, any other day? <laughs> and it yeah. just wasn't panning mm-hmm. out for anybody's schedule yeah so i'm like all right well you know is what it is what are you gonna do i guess we're just not gonna do dinner this week that's cool so tuesday yeah. maybe like 11 o'clock logan texts me hey i got called off of work do you still want to do dinner tonight which obviously you know because we didn't do dinner last week because of schedules of course i want my kids to come over and have dinner but yeah the original plan would have been dinner tuesday i go grocery shop monday for for said dinner when dinner got canceled we're like well we're not going to grocery store (laughs) you know yeah so i was like all right well uh, yeah you know you guys can come over i'm like i'm not sure what we're doing for dinner and it kind of went back Mm -hmm. and forth then logan's like well how about on my way over i just grab like a couple little caesar's pizzas and some bread and i'm like all right so he did that (laughs) i grabbed up a taco party box from taco bell (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you know six yes. with meat six with beans because leah and we had oh, little right, caesars yeah. and taco bell last night <laughs> that's hilarious. which brian that's probably like the, it. the first time i've had taco bell in a long time yeah and yeah. i i did do the the yeah. gauntlet of hot sauces not real impressed oh, yeah. <laughs> i'm not gonna lie like yeah. diablo is yeah. spicy that's but it's like not even say. like like it's diablo it looks angry it's not that spicy yeah. the fire tastes pretty good though i'm not gonna lie had some good flavor to it. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. I was just like, well, here we go. If I'm going to have Taco Bell, I might as well get all the sauces. <laughs> Although, sure, yeah. I, yeah. I ordered it for carry out, obviously. You know, I ordered it ahead of time mm-hmm. so I could just go pick it up. I could have just walked out of there. If there was more food on that shelf, I could have just helped. It's the weirdest yeah. shit I've ever seen I, in my life. I've seen a, quite a few places like Chipotle used to have that yeah. same concept. It was just a shelf. And I'm like, I could just walk up, and as long as I don't act weird, dude, they won't have uh, a clue. I, I got care. it from the, the T-Bell by my house. I don't know why I'm pointing, but yeah. Um, yeah. I walked in. I could hear people talking, but there was no one at the counter at all. Yeah. And I'm like, uh, and the, obviously, the instant eating inside is closed. They just had digital kiosks yeah. if you're going to order food. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's sometimes I've gone to the yeah. one over here by me, and they they don't have anyone at the front. You have to use the kiosk. Yeah, they, or there go was no the one. Drive. There was no like I I didn't yeah, see anybody. I walked in, I got my food, yeah. and I left. I never saw anybody. Yeah, robots. And, and, and that was all I could think. It was <laughs> I'm walking out to my car. I'm like, if I was a scuzzball and there was more food up there, I could have just taken everything, or or, or yeah. I could just sit in my I car for with... ten minutes and walk back in and be like. Where's my taco box? <laughs> you know? Yeah. I've I've joked with my brother about that when we've been it's in Chipotle. Crazy. I'm like, man, I could I could snatch four it or five bags make of sense, food here. Dude. 
And I, then I saw, uh, I noticed the last few times I've been in Chipotle, they, they've they been keeping it behind the counter. And I'm like, that makes a whole lot more sense where you have yeah, to ask no, for no, it. Yeah, it's just right when you yeah. walk in the door, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I know what it was. It's because, like, at Chipotle, they'd get so busy that, like, a door dasher would come in and, you know, uh, either you've got to allow them to cut the line or they've got to wait in a line of like 25 people. And, you know, time is of the essence for them because, you know, people may rescind their tip or whatever if they don't. Or I'm pretty sure they had a sign on the door so, that was like, sorry, all dashers and stuff must use drive through. Yeah. 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 Which, again, kind of yeah. sucks because if there's a line, if you get stuck behind someone who ordered like 9,000 bags of diapers, you're, yeah. you're just stuck. Whereas you should be able to just walk in and go, hey, I'm here for this order. Here you go. And then, you know, it's like if they want to close the dining on the inside, but let the door dashers go in, I wouldn't have a problem with that. You know, like if I'm a dasher, dude, I'm not taking Taco Bell orders. Fuck you. I should actually ask my buddy, see what what he does. No, no. You know, I, I my nephew was doing it for a while. And he would not take Taco Bell because the chance of having that, long that's lines what I'm is high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm... He's like, he always took from places that he could get in and get out because, like, he used to do a lot of, sorry for the local reference, but over around, yeah. like, the mall because there's so many food places right there. There's a lot of times somebody will be ordering from Panera. Someone else will be ordering from, like, Bibby Bop, and they're right next to each other, basically, or or uh, Chick-fil-A or something, and he can just snatch the food and gone, and he can deliver, like, three oh, orders. Bibby Bop. Yeah. It, and, yeah. Um, well, it was, you know, it's going to be but, really uh, busy uh, this Saturday. All the Taco Bells. No. 420, man. <laughs> Oh, shit. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, you ain't wrong. You ain't wrong. So, you know, is is speaking yeah. of weird food shit. Like the other day, my my sister, her boyfriend, oh, yeah, and yeah. uh her grandson were over. And, you know, they were uh we were all out like doing stuff in the yard. You know, move uh my mom they they had my mom used to have big flower beds kind of all around the house. And, you know, she can't get down and really get into that stuff as much. Now, my sister, obviously, well, for those who know, you know it, but she had two major surgeries in the last year. So she can't quite do what she used to be able to do, you know. Plus, you know, you get a little older. I have yeah, no fuck them to flowers, do it, am I right, you know? boys? Yeah. So the idea was like, well, let's move the, the, like the, bo- the logs that were out there. Like, let's move them in and kind of shorten up the flower beds. That way, you know, you can just mow around the rest of it and stuff. So we were doing that and cutting the grass and all that kind of stuff, which ugh, hate the fact that the grass has been cut now because, you know, now it means it's got to cut my backyard because I thought I saw a tiger walking around. But my front yard <laughs> isn't that bad yet. And I got to actually do some shit with my flower beds, which I'm basically going to rake the dead yeah. shit into my yard and then mow it over. <laughs> That's yeah. pretty much what we were doing too was uh my mom raked out the leaves that were still in the flower bed and then Derek just took the mower over them because it's like no, there's no sense of bagging that. them or something. It's like you know, because they're old leaves too. So basically the wind yeah. almost crumbles them, you know. So it's like just grind them up and let them be nourishment for, for the ground. Um but you know, so we get done and my mom was like, you know, my mom always tries to give people money for helping Naturally. her, you know. And Stand course, up you know how a lot being, of family you know? is. Yeah, you know, a lot of family is like, nah, 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 you know, like we're, you know, we're, we're family. Yeah, you just do it's for like each Fast other, and right? Furious. Family. Right. Exactly. You know, so so my mom's like, well, at least let me buy, like, you know, let's grab something quick to eat because we're all hungry, you know. So they decided they wanted Burger King. So we go to Burger King. We go inside and I get, I was ordering this like massive bundle of food because I was like, well, this will feed us tonight or now and then later there'll also be some food, you know? And then my sister, you know, boyfriend and and grandson all grab, you know, get food too. And the girl like rings everything up and I, I go to put my card in the machine and, um, and I'm like, yeah, the, it's not doing anything. You know, sometimes they have to hit a button to, you know, I'm like, well, it's not showing anything on the little reader. And she goes, Oh, and she hits something and I'm standing there, standing there standing there and i'm like it's still not doing anything and she goes well it shows paid i'm like oh okay you know so i take my card out put it away and then she goes wait she's like this is weird and she has no idea what's going on basically and she brings the manager over and the manager looks at it and she's like what did you push what'd you do i don't 
yeah. And the girl's like, well, I just did, you know, what I normally would do. And the manager was like, okay. And I'm thinking, well, I was like, okay, well, if there's something weird, they'll just cancel it and I'll have to reorder. No big deal, you know? And the manager just looks at me and she goes, don't worry about it. Just, just slide on down. This one's on us. And I'm like, are you sure? Cause this is like $60 worth of food. And she was, you know, she was like, yeah, she goes, I, I don't know what caused it. She goes, I don't know for sure if your card got charged, you know, she goes, so we'll just not worry about it. I was like, okay. You know, so I slide over, you know, we get the, the, like they set the first bag of food on the counter and the manager was like, w- did you just give them some of the food? And the girl's like, yeah. And she goes, we don't give them the food until we have all of it together. That way we can double check it basically. And she goes, do you know what you gave them? And she's like, no. And I'm like, I can tell you what she gave me. I said for the, for the bundle order. And I was like, yeah, I need two original chicken sandwiches. I was like that, that will complete that order. I said, everything else that's on that list, we don't have yet. She goes, okay, that helps. The manager stood there. And as the food was coming out, double checked, everything went back through, checked it again then handed it to me. And then she's like, you know, she's like, uh, she told me her name. I don't remember it now, but she, she's like, you know, this is my name. If something's wrong, call. And I'm like, if something's missing, I'm not like, fucking calling. You just, you just gave, gave us, us a bunch of, yeah, it's like, you just gave us all the food. So if something's wrong, I ordered too much. So somebody can just eat something else extra. I ordered, you know, but we got home and she also told them to make it like, make it right. Like, so that the food, and it was like, they were some of the best assembled sandwiches I've had in from a fast food place in a long time. Like it was the way it should have been Weird. done basically. I know. And I was like, you know, and this, you could tell this woman was old school kind of man. Maybe you like know? someone in your but, party has a striking resemblance to like the regional manager. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, maybe I look like Bob. Maybe, I don't maybe. know, you know, um, but it was, she it was so funny because I'm like, you gave us free food. You you don't have to go like the extra, extra, extra mile here. But I appreciate that she did. Right. You know, because we got home, we had all our food, everybody was happy, it tasted fine, you know, for what it was and everything. So it was like, okay. But you know, and I'm like, you know, I'm gonna check my my bank app just to see if it did go through. And I looked, nope. And I looked earlier today. I think I figured out what happened. Was I think like when the person's completed the order. I'm pretty sure they go, are you paying cash or credit? Right. And then you have to hit a cash or credit button. And I bet she hit cash. And then I bet she hit Mm. finished. So as a result, the drawer goes, okay, I've been satisfied. Feed me. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, and here's your receipt basically. Um, whereas obviously I never paid her any cash cause I, I didn't have any cash. So I, so at the end of the night, I feel like their drawer is going to be 60 bucks off right there. Like I just pictured wise. you like skateboard again, like the villain from hackers. And you remember, remember that little device yeah. that John Connor hacks the ATM with in Terminator two. You're just, <laughs> <Yes. laughs> meanwhile, it shows yep. paid. You're just hacking it. Yeah. You know me, I'm always exactly. hacking Burger King. <laughs> well, well, here's a random question for you. What would your hacker handle be? <laughs> oh, God, I don't even know, right? I mean, it, 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 as much as I'd want it to be like the name I use often, like Ninjitsu, it's like, you know, I can't well, have no, something that, that's too many, it. That's, it ties that's to yourself. Good. You can't have that. Right. Also, it's got too many like vowels True. in it, you know? I'd have to like do something cool and yeah, I don't even, I don't know, man. I'm, I don't know. I'd I'd probably just be like, you know, <laughs> whoa, slow yeah. down. H A H A K R. Just because I want to rub their face in it a little That's bit, fair. you know. Like, oh, oh no, my hacker, god, he yeah. struck again. <laughs> or even funny, I just go with El That's Barto. Perfect. You El know? Barto is here. Yeah. Or, yes. or Banksy. Yeah. <laughs> just, ha- just go by Banksy. Like, <laughs> yeah, Hexy. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, that was that was weird. I haven't had that happen in a long time. You know, I've had a few things like a week ago. I was at Wendy's and I ordered all the stuff, and I told the girl, and then she rang it up, and I'm like, "Oh, you didn't." Uh, my mom wanted a chili from there, and I'm like, "Oh, you missed the chili." She goes, "Oh," and she just gave it to me. She gave me a large one, you know. So I was like, "Okay, whatever," you know. Like, that's usually more of what happens, but uh, 
I've not had a place give me all yeah, the food nice. for free. So I was like, okay. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. And then I remember that night I had a coupon for Domino's uh that I had to use. Like I had a free pizza that was gonna expire. So I ordered pizza. And my mom's like, Why'd you order pizza? We have left, you know, the extra Burger King food you got earlier. And I'm like, Yeah, but if I don't get this, I you know, my my free pizza goes away. Can't have that. <laughs> No, so I got the old, I uh, did the uh, barbecue chicken pizza on a pan pizza. That was, was that was pretty tits. good, man. I've, I was, I've been yeah. enjoying that. Yeah. And the guy, when he brought it up was like, Hey, I, he's like, I left it in a couple extra minutes to make sure that the, the dough got cooked really well. And I'm like, extra oh, crispy. It's, it's, I'm like, man, I'm getting all the good customer service today. Yeah. You no know? shit, man. Good job. It was all right. Yeah. We- I was like, if I hadn't already tipped him, I would have, I mean, you know, definitely. He for sure I mean, would have got a good tip. I mean, he did, but, you know, I would have given him a good tip. I mean, we checked out way. a place that was kind of disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> we were out Saturday just kind of driving around, going to different stores. You know, checked out the antique mall, picked up Creepy Kermit. Which, terrifying. That was pretty creepy, yeah. But uh, we went to a garden store, right? And uh, yeah. as we are pulling in, we drove by this place called The Drunken Nacho great logo mm-hmm. it's a nacho chip with a sombrero holding a beer he's got a wacky face we're like oh this place sure, is i'm like sure. we gotta how can you okay, go wrong so wrong, that's garden right? center and i'm like we're gonna go split some nachos i'm gonna get a beer we're gonna have a time man that place sucks yeah <laughs> <laughs> like the beer was fine obviously you can't really fuck up beer but it's like when you walk in and just all the paints chipped on the walls and yeah. Well, again, you know, like going into a greasy spoon, you know, you, you a lot of times you're like, okay, this place either yeah. going to be awesome or it's going to well, be. This place garbage, used to be know, a Jed's, something. which in our area oh. was used to be the pinnacle of chicken chunks. And boy, did it they was. fall you on her right. face. Yeah. Well, that's what happens when the owner yeah, steals yeah, from yeah, the exactly. kitty. You, know? you, you like cocaine and not paying taxes? <laughs> And you should but run yeah, this so, business. Yeah, after Into after that guy <laughs> fell from grace, other people brought up, you know, took over to Jed's, and it was just never the same. They no, because they got cheap. They got the things yeah. people loved. They changed it, the fries. The they changed sucked. the chicken. Yep. yep. But I was kind of like, you know, like, oh, this might be cool, although it's nowhere near a house. Man, the nachos weren't great, although the chips were delicious. I think they were house-made chips. Yeah. They were delicious. But the nachos kind of sucked. And you just look... That's just like that's it. Like when you go see stand up comedy yeah. and it's terrible, it's almost painful. Like when we were watching Chop last night, and they were making breakfast, and two of the people were doing like fried potatoes, you know, little little diced potatoes. And I'm like, and they undercooked them, and I'm like, ah, oh, that fucking oh, yeah. ruins it, man. It's like that'll ruin your whole plate of food, basically, if those potatoes don't have that crispiness yeah. to them. It's just, it's same with nachos. It's like, man, how do you how do you like, serve bad? And nachos? you're called the drunken cool. nacho. Maybe you should uh, not be so drunk yeah, when exactly. you're making the nacho. And looking around at the people that were in there, you're just I was just like, everybody in here has been drinking in here no matter what establishment it is. You know, there's yeah, like, oh, it's dumb right. different, but still my bar, you know? You're just picturing like a, a montage of like all the different looks of the bar, but the people, oh, yeah. stay, you know, like it's a, a time lapse, but yeah, everyone's 100%. the same. Except you just see yeah, it's getting 100% older. Yeah, it's 100% it. it. <laughs> But we yeah. left there and stumbled across, you know, we, you know, I love a game store, Brian. Saw, True. Um, I think it was called Pinnacle Gaming, maybe. I don't I don't remember. Okay. But I'm like, oh, shit, game store. Michelle's like, do you want to go? I'm like, yes, we did. You know, not quite a Yui, but a Yui. Yeah. Um, it, wow, it's very strange, Brian, because it was a card game store, no Magic the Gathering. Completely focused yeah. on Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, and Lorcana. Right. Yeah. And uh, mm-hmm. it was actually kind of cool because I'm like, the guy was like, oh, yeah, we like live stream and blah, blah, blah. And I was just thinking, like, this is stuff Brian and I would have done, you know? <laughs> but yeah. well lit, smelled good, or very well organized, had a sweet jukebox, yeah. which was cool. Are... Uh, nice. But we ended up. Did you pull hey. a Fonzie on it? Like hit it. <laughs> but um, so no one in the place yeah, gets exactly, the reference, I'm you know. <laughs> but yeah. uh, Michelle's been really like 
itching to play a, like a collectible card game, you know, it's so expensive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it is. So even, even if you were just like, we're just, you know, forget old shit. We're just going to so, go buy a couple of yeah. commander decks or just whatever. It's like commander decks are like 40 or so $50 expensive. now. I remember they used to be like 20 so bucks. She bought a couple yeah. of start or pre-cons of Lorcana. And right. uh, we've been playing it pretty. We've been playing it a lot. Picked up a couple packs. Well, it's it's cool because you can get in on the ground. Kinda, floor of it's it hard too. to find. You know, kind of. yeah, yeah, it is. Like we it were is. at. Uh, well, like she told you, you know, you've got the collectible card market. You've right. got speculators, and you have Disney collectors all grabbing. I mean, the precons that so, we saw yeah. tons of them, but like we went to Checkmate Games to pick up some sleeves. Yeah, you know, because mm-hmm. honestly, with with her yeah. like hands. Having the sleeves to doing the mash shuffle works perfectly for yeah. you. Oh, okay, cool. Now, did you get the sleeves and then the sleeves that protect the sleeves? No. We just got... Okay, because I shoot not those no, exist We just now. got straight up... The... So basically, you know, like you put your card yeah. in your deck protector or whatever. You have a sleeve that essentially you slide over the top of that so that it protects the whole... Yeah, it, no, It's no. so stupid. Part, no, fuck that but noise. It, <laughs> but um, I was like, oh, you know, because I'm like, let's go pick up some sleeves, my treat. And I'm thinking like, sure. oh, you know, well, I'll pick up a couple packs while we're there. Just as like a little like surprise. Yeah. They're like eight bucks a yeah. pack. And I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, wow. And I start, I'm like, well, how much are magic? Because, yeah, I've been out of the game for a while. Six. Yeah. It, Target magic they, is they $6 They had some a pack. packs for like four. And I'm like, yeah. huh. I'm like, that's weird. So we didn't buy packs. But then when I got home, I started looking into it. And, yeah, it's. Supply and demand. It's just hard yep. to find. I was in Target over by me the other day, had three or four packs of Lorcana yeah. on the shelf. So if I see any, yeah, I'll let I mean, you Michelle know. Michelle went to Target cause... yesterday and bought a pack because she saw yeah. it and was like, ooh, okay. You know. Yeah, it's I it, like I've been through, you know, the stores in the area with my brother and we, we always, I always look just out of curiosity for like, oh, wow, like one time I remember. I saw a bunch of it, and since then I've seen occasionally there's like three or four packs, and that's about it. You know, like you can't, the, you can't the go game crazy. Plays a lot yeah. like Magic, though, which yeah. makes a ton of sense. If you're gonna basically make a game, yeah, why not copy I'm, the game? This I mean, through, you know, because you know? obviously I've, especially back in the heyday of us being teens, we played mm-hmm. so many card games. Yeah, true. We tried. So a I was kind of like, well, here, let's let's see, but. It's got pretty good mechanics, and it's a, it's an entertaining mm-hmm. game. So it's I think it's something we're gonna get into a cool. little bit. Although yeah. I told her, I'm like, I know what I used to be, sleep. and I can't become that yeah. guy again. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, it's easy. It's easier as long as you stay away from like r slash Lorcana or what fill in the blank uh, deck yes. building websites and shit. Right? If you just do it the way we did it when we started. Well, not when we started because yeah, we used we all stupid. our cards. But once we learned yeah. how to build decks, you know, and it was just like we weren't constantly in the magazines. And obviously we couldn't go on Star City Games right. back then. But like when we had our shop, it was constantly like farming for tourney decks because, you know, we need. Well, that was different, though, also, because like we need to know what's hot. But, you know, with this, you don't. It's more of like when you and I were playing Marvel oh, versus yeah, yeah. for a while. I mean, until I built that Dr. Doom deck just to see kind of why it was all the rage, basically. We were just like, oh, let's just play with these pre-cons and have fun and whatever. So Yeah, it's been cool so yeah. far, though. It's, it's interesting yeah. to be playing a card game like that again. It's been so long, yeah, you know? I bet. Especially not, not be, being yeah, magic. Yeah, for sure. Because that would be the thing that would make the most sense, right? Like, it, I mean, aside from the finances part, but it's like, Hey, let's do a card game. Be like, well, I'm very familiar with magic. Let's, yeah, let's just grab, grab some, some magic, magic and we can do this. Well, and she used to play magic you. too, kind. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's so. right. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about. That. So, but I mean, I was. But, yeah. it, it's it. I mean, I don't want to obviously explain the game here, but I was surprised at how similar it is to magic in a lot of ways, but it's also vastly different, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Well, I hope so. Yeah. For yeah, I figured it would be because it it does need yeah. to be its own thing. You know, it can mimic, but it can't be the same game because, you know, at that point you're like, why am I not just playing right, magic? Exactly. <laughs> you know? Yeah, good shit though. 
I've wondered about it from, you know, like when I heard first heard about it, I was like, man, I was like, I wish I had the money to like pre-order well, yeah, boxes. When we, when the guy was know. talking because, we you know, when he was like, oh, we do this, this and Lorcana, we we're both like, what the fuck's Lorcana, you know? And then, yeah. you know, yeah. as he was explaining it and we're walking around the stores, you know, she was like, I'm pretty sure Brian talked about this on your podcast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I did. Because I, I, I was very much like, this could be huge because I knew there was going to, you know, there, you know, there's going to be foils. There's going to be really hard to get rares, blah, 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 you know, like any card game. And I was like, and these yeah, are Disney I mean, there's, things. Because I, cause I had to look because you know? I'm like, well, now I'm curious. There's a alternate yeah. art foil um, Elsa. I can't remember the specifics of the title because it's Elsa the whatever, you know. And it's yeah, on, right? it's, yeah. it goes for like 1500 bucks. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say there was just, I think, a, a regular Elsa, like, right away that was going for, like, five or $600. But a lot of that was because when it came out, they severely yeah, I underprinted. Read that. Yeah. But they didn't – what I thought was dumb was they didn't pull the move of, like, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Or, or Pokemon to where they were like, here's first edition. When that sells out, that's it. Now here's the – whatever they call unlimited edition yeah. or whatever they called it, you know? So it's the same cards, but it had a little different sticker, or not sticker, but a little different gimmick on it, so that you knew this was the more common version. So the really collectible ones were that first set, and I thought Lorcana should have done the same right. thing. Like, here's the initial print run. When they were like, oh, we're going to make more, I was like, oh, okay. I, I figured they'd do the same thing, and they didn't. They just made more, and I was like, oh, that's not as good for the secondary market, because prices will come. It's great oh, yeah, for the for players. Sure. Because now there's more available, you know. But I was like, they for sure should have, like, really tried to protect that collectability of that mm -hmm. first run. Because I think it would have, in the long term, really helped the game a little bit. But I think it'll do fine, obviously. Because again, it's Disney. If the game's any good, yeah, the, it'll the guy catch who we were talking to at that it's, shop was said that you know they got a lot of people that come in there and play, and they do tournaments, and, and he's like, it's yeah, ranges I'm from old surprised. people to like yeah. eight year olds, and yeah. Right. Yeah. So cool. I mean, you know, because who cares, right? Like, who, ca you know, it was like I used to talk about with Magic. It was like, I don't pay attention to the stories and all the whatever. And they build some fabulous stories with Magic. Yeah. I could give a shit. I'm just playing a game. You know what I mean? Like, I, I never read the books. I didn't dig into the this guy and this guy or here's the overwhelming story of the 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 set yeah, or whatever for the most part. Why like, not get along? Hmm. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, there's six yeah. books about it. <laughs> Yeah, I I actually I jumped on Arena about a week ago because, you know, when a new set comes out, they basically give you three free packs of it. So I jumped on and I'm like, I haven't been on in a while. I had like 18 packs to open, basically, because there have been six sets apparently since I now they have uh, I forgot what they call it. Um, were they arcane or something like that, where they're digital only like they're um, altered mm. cards, basically, from us from a set. But you can only get it within Arena. You can't there's no uh, physical version of it. So some of them were that. So, but like opening one of them, it was like, it sounds like the the overwhelming theme is that you're like, because there's detectives in the set and there's like yeah, mysteries I, and I, whatever. I dabble with that with my or, magic match game. That that set came oh, out right. and I'm like, yeah. what? I'm like, what is this yeah. mystery? What is this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, I, you know, I think at this point, my biggest problem about, like, trying to get back into Magic, I mean, first of all, it's money, right? But aside from money, it's, there are so many mechanics. more card-type things and uh, mechanics and all that that it's like, dude, this would take me forever to learn again, you know? So, unless I'm just going to buy old cards and play old cards. Money. <laughs> Which is also an option, yeah. But yeah, like you said, then money becomes the bigger, even yeah, bigger problem. Sure. Unless I'm just buying like old commons, you know, and I buy old, I don't mean like unlimited and shit. Fallen I mean more like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to buy cases yeah. of Ice Homelands and Fallen <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, oh shit, what was that one? The last one of the Onslaught block. Uh, uh, Legion. Yeah, the other shit set. <laughs> the one that nobody fucking wanted. And they actually quit production of uh, because it wasn't selling. 
because i remember i kept getting our supplier was like you know if you want boxes of legions i'm like nobody wants this there's nothing good in it there's like two cards that were you know okay in it everything else was shit basically but for draft it wasn't terrible you know especially if you did yeah. the whole block it wasn't terrible but that was it. There was no value in it. It's like, they're not going to, I'm not going to be able to sell these unless I trick people into doing drafts. <laughs> like that's it. <laughs> no one wants them as a prize. Even I can't give them away. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. But that's cool. I'm, I'm glad to, you know, that you guys, cause I know a while ago you asked me about like, if I was aware of any card yeah. games that were still kind of around that weren't like terribly expensive. And I'm like, eh, you know, because no, I didn't. Because most of them have gotten terribly expensive. Unless you jump into like a brand like yeah. Lorcana's, you know, it's not cheap, but you're not having to fight everybody. Uh, yeah, you know, but I mean, because it's like recently they released a One Piece game and you know stuff like that. And but it's like there's a lot of those games that it's like I don't know what the long term on those is. It's like, are it's like it feels like there's probably a lot of people buying it just because they're fans of whatever right. the property is you know and this has both so yeah the only thing that'll stink is you know you got so many people buying shit and they're sending it to be graded that it steals from the availability yeah, that's, of the cards, that's what, you know that's what she was getting angry about she's like i just she's like i went on youtube just to see like people playing it and she's like all it is is people just opening packs yeah. She's yeah. like and she's like I pack, pack makes and she's like I viewers. just got so yeah. angry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's channels out there of people playing, but yeah, there's a lot of channels of people well, you that's, know, that's just what opening I told her. I'm like I'm like if the Sports internet was what it is now when Brian and I had a shop, we would be doing the same thing. Oh, for sure. I'd be doing Absolutely. pack rips on there too. Yeah. hundred yeah. percent. Like when a new set comes out, right. I'd I'd do pack rips yeah. for sure. Yeah. Because why wouldn't you know, I see sport like there's tons of sports cards. Yeah, I card see them on too. TikTok Live you know, all the time. I see them everywhere. So. Yeah, I've watched a couple, but the ones I've watched is when they've got like there was a guy who had a box of the uh, fuck I forgot which year it is. It's Jordan's rookie year, and he had the Fleer that's like you know the iconic Jordan rookie, and he was opening a box of that. And I'm like, I kind of want to watch this because I've ne you know that was before I collected sports cards. And I kind of want to see how many Jordans he right. pulls out of the box, you know, and, and, and stuff. So that was, yeah, it was a little neat for me. But aside from that, it's like, I don't give a <laughs> shit. I don't kudos to you for opening a great card. I, I always, for what boxes of cards cost now, it's insane. You know, you get like four packs and it's $25 sometimes. And it's like, God, I remember when a whole box, like 36 packs of, uh, you know, upper deck or something would run you thirty six. Yeah, it's insane to be at know? the card market. Would, like sports cards, especially, is still a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's come down a lot since, like, during uh, lockdown for COVID. Oh my god! Like collectible insane. card games make sense because it's still a game. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah, exactly. Right, it's something you can tangibly use. Yeah, but, but you know, sports cards was always one of those things. I'm like. I don't understand why these are valuable, but they are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, it's funny because I, my brother and I were just talking about it the other day. Cause I'm like, you know, like you and I've talked plenty of times about how I get the itch to play magic again. And then I see the prices and then all of a sudden that itch goes completely yeah. away. Um, unless, like I said, unless I could like, it would still be fun for like, if you and I could just get a mess of magic cards that are, even if they're just shit magic cards, we could oh, still yeah, have fun yeah, playing. Sure. Right. We'd go through and build stupid, like, 250 yeah. decks or whatever. Shittiest decks, decks in the world. Let's you go. Know. Exactly. Or, you know, we could build shitty commander decks, whatever, you know. And, um, you know, and every once in a while, I get the itch with sports oh, really? cards, too. It's like, I kind of, yeah, I'm like, I kind of miss it. And then, you know, I'm at Target, and I look, and I go, like, my brother bought some packs of something the other day. There's four cards in the pack, and it's $4. And I'm like when I quit buying cards packs, it just hit about for the most part, there were, there were premium ones, but most of the packs were about three yeah. to five bucks, and, but you still got like 15 cards in a pack. You know, you might get an insert. You might not now, you know, a lot of them guarantee you one insert or whatever. And that's why the cost is so much higher and all this, but, but it's like, if you hit the right card now, you know, it's worth 
shit tons of money back when I collected, even if you hit the hottest dude in the game or the hottest rookie, it was probably a twenty dollar right, card. Right, right. <laughs> you know, unless it was an insert There's or something, something special you know, about it. Like yeah. a chief type. Yeah. But now it's like there's cards that are like one of one type cards. And if you hit a dude and it's his rookie card, it's his one of one. Oh my God. Like that uh what's his name? Victor Wem Wembayama or whatever that plays for the he was the number one pick for the Spurs last year. And he's like, I don't know, seven, four or seven, five. And he's a crazy good player. If you hit a one of one of his rookie card, you're probably sitting on a, you know, who knows how much that card's worth, especially if it's right. an autographed one, you know? So it, it's ridiculous that like newer cards can be worth more than like Mickey Mantle rookie it is cards, weird. you know? Yeah. Right. You know, like there's cards out there that have sold for more than, I don't know if you've ever heard of the Honus yeah, yeah. Wagner card. It was the most expensive card in sports cards. It, when it topped a million dollars for one, people were like, holy shit. There's been so many cards that have sold for more than a million dollars now that are guys that, that are still playing. That sense to me. Yeah, it's crazy because it's one of one or one of five. And there's people out there that if there's only like five of them, they're trying to buy the market up so yeah, they can dictate the price. Because picture, if you own three of them, you pretty yes. much set the market up. Two more, right? I rule you the know, world. So, yeah, basically, it's it's a whole, and I'm like, I don't want to be any part of that, and I'm like, I don't, I don't want to just have sports cards. It's like again, if I'm gonna put money into something, I'll buy Magic or Loricana or something like that because at Brian, least then I can you play. Can make your bicycle sound like a fucking motorcycle. Right? I hadn't thought about that. You're right. My Huffy would look pretty badass with some yeah, right sports in cards in there. Yeah, the fast you ride, yeah. the more angry you sound. Hell yeah. yeah. Like, hey, I'm Brian, and I just cracked a, a Wemby 101. It's going in my bike, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> like those assholes that have, like, bought a Black Lotus and then just tore it in half, you know, and people, Ooh! you know. Sacrificing yeah, it, I bet, bitch. I bet a lot of them. <laughs> Give me about three mana. Do you remember guys, guys used to do that when we first were at Collector's World, and now it makes me wonder how much those guys are crying yeah, right. over that. <laughs> Like, oh, shit, I tore $20,000 in half. Yeah. I mean, I kind of <laughs> cry about some of the cards that, you know, pass through my hands, too, but ne never had power, but still. Yeah, I made a killing yeah. on the stuff I had, but I... That's yeah, why I try not to... Whenever I go to a game store, I try not to look at the old magic. <laughs> yeah. Well, that same with me with sports cards, because, like, when I finally got out of sports cards, I sold all my stuff. I sold... Uh, you know, there were some that I sold on eBay that were my yeah. higher end stuff. But even then, it's like, dude, I had like Kobe rookies that were in really nice shape and everything. And I sold them for probably, you know, 50 bucks a piece. Those same Kobe rookies now, especially if I got them graded, could be thousands right, of right. dollars. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, but it is what you know, it whatever. is. You know, it's, I, I made a killing at $50 because I probably got them out yeah. of $3 packs. You know what I mean? Or I just bought them for 10 oh, bucks. God. Cause I remember, you know, like when the Lakers traded for him and then his cards came out, I bought a few. Cause I'm like, you know, there was a lot of hype around him. So, you know, now you can't even do that. Like you can't, as soon as a rookie comes out, like if, if it's his first card and I'm do, right now, there's a sports illustrated junior or sports illustrated kids magazine. And it has tiger woods kid. There's a card of him in there. It's his first card. That card potentially could be worth crazy money if he turns into his dad, basically money, you know, crazy. golf wise. That's, that doesn't even make sense to me. You know, and probably it, it's near impossible to find the magazine on the stands because people have of, gone and bought them all up have. already. Right. Because they know like, oh, shit, this guy might be the next right. Tiger Woods. You know, it's nuts. The speculation is just completely devoured. The like, you, you know. Like I said, you know, I used to buy packs. You crack them, you put the rookies in a certain box. That way, if later on they they went up in value, you dig through them. Yeah. Oh, here, you know, here's yeah, Ted Smith. Yeah, and now it's like, you know, like I said before, a guy even steps on the field, it's like his rookie card's already like four hundred dollars. You know, dude, you know, the only thing I'm collecting dude. catfish. Hell yeah, nice. Like that uh, quarterback for the Niners, Brock Purdy. His one card, they only there was only one card of his that was out when the, right when he remember a couple years ago he had that end of the year and then yeah. into the playoff run that they had or whatever 
And his card when it started was basically worthless because, you know, nobody knew anything about him. There was no hype around him. But that after he won two games, his card all of a sudden was already almost a hundred dollars. You know, it just bang, because people were like, Oh, I gotta get Jesus on it now. <laughs> it's it's that's why I was like I said, I look at it and go, I'm so glad I'm not in that anymore. Well, I mean, that's you know, that's kind of what flittered through my head when we bought these Lorcanas and I'm looking at the cards and you know, because each recon yeah. comes of a pack, and I'm looking at those, and so it's like someone that's been like clean and sober for years, and all, and all of a sudden, like someone <laughs> just drops like a kilo of coke in front of you, and you're just like, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, exactly, <laughs> yeah, yep. Or it's the uh, the the Morty gift, yeah. you son of a bitch. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I have no interest as of yet like for tournament play or anything like that you know it's just it's just something fun for us to do in the house yeah, yeah. well that's the problem is when you start going into tournament play you're yeah, gonna like, need oh, cards geez, like I, that else. i need a corolla the right. or whatever <laughs> yeah well and you know i don't know how the rules of that game are but you know like in magic you would need four of that card probably fun fact deck, Brian. you know so it's characters like, have a limit of yeah. four Unless you're okay. a Dalmatian puppy, then the limit's 99. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, because the parents. Yeah. Oh, no, the parents. Yeah. All right, okay, I get you, Classic. I get you, okay. So they're like that, uh, fuck, what was that, that rat that they had in Magic? They had the, remember, where you could play with as many oh, as you God, wanted in your deck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> rat that was. I keep wanting to say Ravenous, but I know that I is mean, not the right Lorcana one. I mean, also has a rat. His name's Mickey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey oh. You, yeah, but you know what I mean. It's like that—that's where you start usually getting into a lot of trouble. You start trying to play in tournaments. It's like, well, if I want to be competitive, yeah, exactly. I got to spend like, money. Oh shit! Now I need to get an all foil deck. Yeah, because I got and I got to see what the meta is. Now and, I need a Lorcana you know, play mat. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, exactly. damn right. Good. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show up dressed like Steamboat Willie, start fucking kids up. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you didn't say Donald Duck. <laughs> That's true. Steamboat at least has pants on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a little weird not having a shirt, Hell but yeah. at least you have pants. So, <laughs> oh my. <laughs> so uh, we also started watching this show on Netflix. I don't know if you've watched it or not. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. Resident Alien. Yeah, I've seen some of it, not on Netflix. I've actually watched it's it on terrific. TV. I love it. Alan yes, Tudyk is yes. great. It's uh, yeah. it's become our jam. Not that that's yeah, a newsflash, you know. Everyone knows, but exactly. Yeah, yeah the the show is terrific. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a fun show for anyone who doesn't know. It's you know he's an alien who uh, is on the planet. I think he's supposed to like scout he's the planet, to isn't he, or something everybody. like that? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah that's right. Supposed humanity. to kill everybody. Yeah. But he actually realizes he kind of likes people, so he doesn't want to do that. And uh, it's like kids, some kids yeah, can a, see him Yeah, there's a kid in the town that can see is. him as an alien. Yeah. yeah, right, because otherwise he comes, he looks yeah. like Alan Tudyk, uh, you know, but but the kid sees him as the actual alien yeah, that he fantastic. is. fantastic. And he's got a bunch of weird, like I love, there was one I was watching, like he's taking this, like a subway or something, or the bus, I think it was a bus, to work or something like that and he's just he has his briefcase his briefcase just has a bunch of cold pizza in it and he's just eating it horribly <laughs> on the bus it's like not even eating it like a normal way you I mean, would eat the it episode you know? we last so. watched he tried to eat a chili dog and i laughed so hard <laughs> that it, I mean... yeah because yeah, he, he yeah. doesn't eat you think even being around humans he would have been like this is how they eat and he he oh, does not fantastic. Yeah, and his uh, uh, yeah, his his reasonings. Uh, he becomes the town doctor also because the town doctor. I can't yeah, remember if he gets murdered or he gets just dies. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah the, and, the body and, that uh, he takes he over that he mimics is a doctor. Yeah, and so right. they come to him because they're like, "Well, you're a doctor," and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> "Sure." <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's it's so, it's uh, very good. Yeah, Resident it's, Alien. It's good on the, I should have pulled it up on the thing. Whatever on the Netflix. <laughs> Check it out. Other than that, I mean, dude, my week's been pretty yeah, pretty chill. 
I haven't really uh, yeah. done a lot besides eat shitty food and. Nice. Oh, we did play a little EDF. God, that game's ridiculous. Nice. EDF, EDF. Oh, it's so yep. much fun. Yeah, that was fun. I, I, yeah, I keep. You know what? Maybe want to play that because you know we were playing a lot of Saints Row for a while there, and I saw just I was watching some YouTube video where it was like games that make you overpowered or something like that. And one of them was the yeah. Earth Defense Force series. And some of the weapons, and I'm like, I'm watching, I'm like, this is EDF-5. I can tell by the way it looks. And some of the weapons yeah. these guys are firing off, I'm like, I need to unlock these. I need these in my <laughs> yeah, life. I know. That's the thing. You haven't played enough to unlock the yeah. high-end stuff or, or on high enough levels because I know the harder levels you play on, you unlock even dude, better like, weapons. The video I watched so. was like a ranger, dude, and he shoots this rocket launcher, and basically the whole city block just gets leveled. And I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, that's oh, that's why that. I was like, we got to yeah. play EDF. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Sure, dude. Ah, that game's so much fun, though. Yeah. Yeah, it was. It was, it was a blast playing. Plus, you know, just the shenanigans it's... of the game itself, trying to figure out. Some of the boards are... It's so weird to play a game where you don't have to win. Just you survive. just have to survive. Like the God's board, basically, that yeah. we played the other night. It's like you just have to survive for a long time, and then finally the monster yeah. just takes off. It's like He's like, all right, I'm like, done fucking shit it. up. I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah. He levels like half the city, and then he's finally like, all right, I'm, oh, oh, I'll yeah, see you exactly. tomorrow, Sam. You know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it took us forever to beat that one bar of the big purple dudes when it's like, the mobile artillery's coming. And then we figured out yeah. like, oh, well, I'll, I'll fly in as a wing diver and decapitate them, basically, yeah. while you're yep. 80 fucking miles away shooting air tortoises at them <laughs> <laughs> the slowest weapon Dude. maybe in the game from my point of view because i'd be on the ground like loading my jetpack recharge and here comes this big ass yeah. slow missile and it's just like <laughs> good news and like there's purple blood yeah. everywhere <laughs> they're, they're limbless on the ground you know <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> I just had to go over there and finish them off was, before they regenerated. <laughs> yeah, that's the only downside with it because it, it's not like I can fire oh another one God. off fast. It still it takes like I mean, a I mean five that minutes one dude, it just it hit him right in his alien dick and just. Boom. Yeah, well, <laughs> oh, it was great. That's, I just, that's a lock on <laughs> location. <laughs> Remember, I was hitting him with napalm. Oh, right? that shit was too. terrific. <laughs> yep. We really need to play that more. <laughs> It's so yeah, fun. I agree. That was Cheeto. Was I know you're fun. listening because yeah. you love the show and we love you. You should really pick up mm -hmm. Earth Defense Force Five and play with us because yeah. I think it could support up to four people. I think four. Yeah, it would be nice it to have be a nice. full party full on squad. that because I think we would we could very much spread help democracy. Not, Wrong game. You know. Well, also help each That's other. That's true. Not yeah, because you know. Sometimes you and I are like well, the yeah, whole like, board. Like, part. So you're back there air tourcing, and I'm in my mini skirt flying yeah. around, <laughs> you know, and I'm like 18 football yeah. fields to the west. <laughs> the worst was the one where you got killed and landed on a yeah. building, basically, and I have no way to Dude, get up there to get you. Building. you know? Yeah. Oh, I could have. You were right. I don't think oh, I was using no air to that game. Shoot the hostage. Well, you do know I do enjoy dropping buildings in that game. I, I do it sometimes on purpose. Clearly, it so. quite, a, quite literally levels the playing field. Yeah. Well, I also set buildings on fire sometimes when there's a bunch of ants oh, crawling yeah. over one. I'll just set the building on fire, and then they crawl Kill through the it. And it's like, yeah. all right, this works. Yeah. E but, yeah what are you going to e do? E God, that game's ridiculous. Yep. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. So, you know, I was thinking of something well, yesterday. What were you thinking about, you know, right? Uh, um, <laughs> I was thinking about, um, uh, you know, I, I've, I've read some stuff off and on. I'd love to read more on it. Um, uh, but I'm not like a sociology student you can or start. anything, Have but, a dream. um, it. yeah, well, you know, like where you're born and, and grow up basically, you know, it, what you're afforded is based on that. That's like one of the first indicators of what you're around, right? Like what foods around you, what, school district you end up in yeah. those kind of things i was just thinking of it yesterday because my mom and i were talking about you know, over the last couple of weeks we've been eating some like we've been eating casseroles too much and fast food and it's like we like i especially have to like, straighten like, this i need out, a salad you know? <laughs> like vegetables yeah, <right? laughs> so 
But I was like, you know, I was thinking about it. I was like, where I live, I was like, if her and I were like, hey, we're going to get like fast food or even casual yeah. dining, like, but we want to kind of eat healthy. It's like, there's not really an option around us. Not especially for fast Everything food. Everything around us. Yeah, especially fast food. Everything near me is basically yeah. fried. Taco Bell has an option of grilled chicken, at least, you know, um, and stuff. But it's like, you know, if I go to like Arby's or Subway or something like that, no, okay, I'm not going to get beef. I'm going to get chicken. It's like, it's still yeah. deli meat. It's not you know, real it's not chicken. Like actual, <laughs> yeah, you know, so it's like, you know, Golden Corral, I could go get a robust salad at. I mean, that would be an option. But yeah, aside but Brian, from that, why would you get a robust salad food? when they have a chocolate fountain? <laughs> it's one of, well i cover the oh, salad yeah, with dressing. chocolate <laughs> yeah <laughs> i just sit in the sa- in the fountain actually <laughs> it's it's kind of disturbing to watch i'm sure um it's what your only fan you know for. i was thinking about it <laughs> yeah it's true enough yeah only yeah, fountains yeah. is more like it but you know i was i was thinking about that i was like you know what like because subway no. is not healthy you know you're eating a ton of bread it's deli meat the vegetables are the only thing that maybe. may be good for you in the whole. They usually look sad you know? too. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's like, like I said, it's like I have to go. There's, you know, Chipotle is but isn't a better option. You know, it is versus a lot of fast yeah. food. You know, but there's like that tropical smoothie cafe down there. I think their stuff is supposed to be, you know, fresh made type stuff. But, but I was like, there's nowhere really to go. I was like, this really sucks. Whereas, like, where my brother lives is, what, 10 minutes away, roughly? You know, there's at least over by the mall, there's some other yeah. options of, of places that are, you know, either one-off places that actually, you know, make their own food or whatever. But I was like, it's just interesting because, you know, you and I grew up not too far from For where sure. I live yeah. now. So I was thinking about it. Even with us growing up, it was like there was nowhere healthy for no. us to go get food growing up. Just all burgers and fries and fried food and but it's like even the fast food places they all have chicken but like none of them have grilled chicken now right. around here like you know chick-fil-a does but it's like all the other places got rid of their grilled chicken stuff basically you know so i was like you know it's just interesting to me again that where you end up living and just how the economy of your city builds can influence like like for us if we're like let's just grab something real quick we're gonna be eating shit for sure right unless it's like well let's drive 10 15 minutes away from where i live then we can maybe find some better options right whereas even like where you are you know with some of the taco places you have you know you can there's a lot of fried food in mexican i'm not saying there isn't but you can find some you know lighter fare and stuff i mean my favorite dish from the mexican place up the road for me is grilled chicken that's been like you know seasoned obviously and then it's just a yeah. pile of chopped up jalapeno garlic and cilantro cooked on the flat top and tor- and tortillas oh that sounds delicious and it's right. fucking amazing so it's yeah <laughs> right see what i mean though it's like the, again that's where it's like you can find those things there's there is a couple mexican places not too far from me i did forget about that taco joint that up opened up up the road so i could probably find a I mean, decent, healthy. I don't know what time taco. they close, but um, yeah, the Capo, the coffee shop, they got some good ass salads yeah. in there, bro. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I forgot about that place. I I always think of them just like having pastries um, and shit. No, like they do they do sandwiches yeah. and salads and okay. or at least they did. How about that? I mean, we, yeah. we were actually okay. there over the weekend, but I wasn't looking at salads. Yeah. I was eyeballing. The I scone the I got that was delicious. Oh. Oh. Yeah, dark chocolate yeah, pecan scone. What? Oh what? yeah, that sounds all right. Yeah, but yeah, it's it's it was just an interesting you know kind of thought process because you know where where I live is in a part of town that has been on the decline yeah. for a while. There's now recently there's a lot of a some lot of growth happening being, over there. Yeah, there's three or four stores that are major stores building in a little area. I mean, the the newest restaurant around here is that dang. It's a Dairy that Queen, that's and be? it's like they do they could make yeah. they make some banging burgers in a DQ. But still, you know what I mean. But it's it's a another good burger. Place, though, you know? At least right. last time but I I've had still it. Already got 
Yeah. yeah you know what I mean? It's like, I'm, it's like, I wish it was a place that had other options so that I could eat. But Brian, a you got a brewery better. right up the road. It's perfect. Well, yeah, I know it. Beer has brewery, beer has everything you need. We've discussed this before. You're right. <laughs> You're right. Actually, some of the places that are up by the brewery or the food trucks there are probably healthier like, options. It's not necessarily healthy, but they are probably better yeah, options probably. than a lot of the fast food. Some of them do have some decent options, but most of them are, you know, like slathered cheese, grilled cheese sandwiches. Don't knock that shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, oh, no. I'll eat it. I just. Bro. My. My goal is supposed to not is supposed to be to not eat. As we did much chopped of that stuff. cheese a couple days ago. Yeah, yeah. And I uh, I decided to like elevate our chopped cheese. And I went to Sofos because I, I had such success with that garlic bread, and I bought good sub yeah. rolls, and I bought deli yeah. sliced American cheese, bro. Uh-huh. It, it, yeah, it, it, it was a, it, it was difference. a definite step up. I think that's probably why the bodega ones do really well because they're probably getting yeah. good rolls and the, you know, I don't know what level of cheese they're getting, but I'm sure the roll, the bread, you know, cause you know how it is. Steps. Any sandwich like that, it kills the sandwich or makes the sandwich sometimes. Yep. That's what, uh, what's the name? Joey roses talks yeah, about the that. Good, the good you bread know, was, his, was killer. That that was the first thing when he was going to do a, 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 a sandwich thing was like, I got to yeah. get the good bread. Cause He's right, man. You get a, a, a sub and the oh. bread's trash. You're just like, it, it just ruins the whole, the whole thing. vibe. God. <laughs> you get that good bread on there, though, and you'll be talking about it forever. Like, dude, oh, that you're talking so that good, good bread? <laughs> well, that good, that good? Bread. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm telling you. Yeah. Oh, so good. <laughs> yeah. Man, I, I, miss, I miss having. Mm. That's not like, I, I miss having that level of sandwich, you know, cause like the level of sandwiches I've been getting has been more, you know, Jersey Mike's, Jersey Mike's which too. are fine. You know what I mean? But, but there's a difference, you know, chain chain is not the same as a place that either bakes their own rolls or, you know, has their own things specifically made for them kind of thing. I mean, well, I know Jersey Mike's, they kind of do or whatever, but or Jimmy John's, those places all bake their own bread. <clears throat> But it's not made in house usually. Well, it's just what bread. I'm hearing, Brian, is um, whenever I decide to fucking take some time off from work, we need to take a trip yeah. to the sub shop I was talking about. I need I need to get your yeah, ass up before they close. Yep. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> right. Weird hours because it's so. Good. I'm gonna skip in there, so and eat good. all their sandwiches. You know, I wish I wish we could go get a fucking uh oh shit, I forgot what they're You're called. Talking about Roman burger, bro. <laughs> yes, thank you. I just blanked on it. See, that's 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 what like eighty years of friendship will do for you. Yep. Um I wish we could go get a good one of those, man. I miss when we used to snag a couple of those and the, you know, have dude, a time the last with them. time I had one, I was like, these aren't these aren't as good. good. Nope, I had one. I went to the mall and got them, and I was like, "This what, is what, inferior." What the fuck is that place called? <laughs> Mister Hero. It was Mister Hero, and then it became like Mister Roman Mr. or something Hero, like that. They got Roman one. Burger recipe. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. There's there's copycat recipes. This well, maybe the there's our move. Is we try that? No, you tried it before. Did I? It I don't wasn't recall. <laughs> You did once before, and I remember you saying that it wasn't quite right. Like, there was something that was off about it. But, you know, uh, you just got to keep trying until we find it. Yep. I'm sure somebody out there has got the, got the hookup yeah, on that. To... Yeah, I loved when we used to just, you know, go over into oh. the hood and get a couple of those on the buy one, get one days. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck yeah. Uh, oh, fuck yeah, yeah there. That was a weird chain sandwich that uh, I actually really, really liked yeah. and miss. Like, really miss it. Because <laughs> you're right. A couple years ago, I, I got one from, from the mall, and I was like, well, this just isn't. There's something I'm different really, about this. I'm really, really hoping this summer. I'm trying my very best to make it you know, manifest in my life. But I really want to get mm. a propane flat top. And then oh, if yeah, I can acquire right? said cooking device the move. then we can just make all kinds of fun shit on my patio <laughs> that's true that is true you know yeah 
smash burgers oh, with salami. Yeah, we'll make, we'll make our own Roman burgers. You know what I'm saying, dogs? Yeah. Yeah. Sure, for sure. All right, well, we should probably move oh, a little shit. bit. Real quick, I want to go back. An hour already. Holy cow. Yeah, the bush light thing we were talking about, it's with plenty of fish oh, is who of they course, partnered with. Oh, because the tackle box. Right. Now, what's funny, though, is in the in the dating yeah. app world, a lot of women hate the pictures of guys holding fish up or a dead animal yeah. of some sort. Um, so the fact that they're leaning into this and they're like, Hey, you can get this badge on your profile I mean, and it's whatever. A, so it's like, like, like if I hold up this catfish can, does that count? You know? I don't know. I, I don't, uh, I haven't looked into it, but it's like, I think you could just choose to put the badge on your account. Like I'm a fan of fishing and it's like, but again, it's like catfishing in the dating world is, <laughs> is not a good thing. You know, it's like, these are, these are some weird things, but it wouldn't shock me if there's a bunch of dudes in our area that have oh, this on I'm their sure. oh, date yeah, profile because there are, there is a lot of fishing in our area. So, you know, yep. I, I see that but, plenty uh, of fish yeah, team up yeah. to celebrate fishing fanatics. That's funny. Yeah. Catch all four. So there's only four different fish cans. No, oh, that's not very many. They should be specific to the area that would make them actually collectible. Like, in our area, you know, we, there's walleye and whatever, but it's like certain fish you aren't going to find here. Then have those fish available where you can find them, and then people would around the country would want right. to swap cans. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's, That's where the where dating, dating app comes, comes in. in. <laughs> we get to swap cans, baby. I'm not putting in my birthday bush light. Fuck off. I just want to know what fish cans are worth. I'll be honest. Now I'm curious. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry. Like I said, dude, I, I I reached in and I got a catfish as my first one. I'm like, huh. And then I reached in and got another one. My dumb ass thinking they were like a Wouldn't mixed be, bag. And I thought there might be like a cheese can hilarious? or something, you know. Yeah. Wouldn't it be hilarious if you grabbed a catfish can and it was like cider or that something inside of it? Or like a peach lot, a peach bush latte yeah, that, or that something. That would be pretty funny, know? actually, if, if they did that. This isn't what my beer. What the fuck is this? I got fished. <laughs> uh, See, that I can get on board for. Speaking, speaking of, fish. of fish, really quick, apparently Red Lobster might be heading I for saw bankruptcy. that, stupid idiots, if they're all-you-can-eat shrimp. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's blame the pandemic, rising labor costs, blah, blah. Everyone's blaming you know, labor costs, but it's so funny how many businesses are making record profits yeah, right now. Yeah, it's shocking, isn't it? funny you can't afford to pay anybody but you're still charging me like 12 dollars for a whopper okay it's crazy what yeah. the fuck dude this guy's selling a complete set of empty beer can fish beer cans for 20 bucks on ebay yeah. dude there were people i remember people used to do that all the time when they would the like bud light would have like the nfl cans <sighs> You know, or NHL cans with like Molson or something like that. People would do that. They'd have a whole set and try to sell them. And I'm like, who the fuck? I mean, wants I all remember these? the uh, the Star Wars. I mean, cans. I know people remember those your... the Pepsi ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. Exactly. Same idea though. Like, like I saw that. You know, I'm a member of the like local garage sale Facebook yes. community, and there was someone who listed the other day. He had a collection of Mountain Dews. That he wanted like fifteen hundred dollars for, and I'm like, "You're outside your yeah, you fucking crazy." Mind. <laughs> However, then I start looking down some of them that he has, and there is seriously people making him decent offers on each one on different types. Like there was one he got that you can only get in Canada, and a guy was like, "Hey, would you take five or five or six bucks a bottle for those?" And the guy was like, "Yeah, actually, that's a good price for him." Blah blah, and I'm like, "What? <laughs> like what the?" Fuck. Like, I mean, okay. a, a guy I work with, he's into antiques, and he told me he went yeah. to a uh, an estate sale, and this person had uh, like copy paper boxes full of old beer yeah. cans. And, yeah, and, and I know. Yeah, some and, of and I, I can't remember how much he said he paid for them, but he was just like, you know, the classic act nonchalant, and like I like yeah. I, let's say he spent like. Thirty dollars on him, and he's like, "Well, I'll give you thirty bucks yeah. or whatever for the whole thing." And the person's like, "Okay," and he's like, "Oh yeah, I could sell these for a dollar to five dollars a can." And it's like, "What?" Right? <laughs> you know. In fact, yeah. another dude I work well, with I... bought cans off him because he wants to put them in his garage. <laughs> See, there you go. 
It's crazy, man. I saw a dude on uh, Instagram that's a reseller that was at a garage sale. Somebody had a box of tap handles. I think I told you about this before. There's a box of tap handles. They want like 30 bucks for the whole box. And you know that like bars yeah, have to tap buy those. Cool. I've seen them in it. Yeah. Because some, yeah, there's some of the breweries or not breweries, the, uh, well, yeah, the, the companies will give them or not give them, loan yeah. them to a bar. And then when that beer's not on tap, you you have to give it back, basically. But we were told by uh, uh, bartenders at Rockies, it was like, yeah, we have to buy those. Like, if we want to have all the different ones. And I'm like, holy shit, you know? And this, I think the guy, like, figured out that he was going to make, like, hundreds and hundreds of dollars off of these. Because the, most of them were not huge beers or beer companies but there were some that were pretty well known you know like yeah. founders ones and stuff that were like limited edition type beers that you know it's like you know somebody's gonna want that whatever backwards or uh backwards bastard yeah or something i've, I've like that, always you know? looked at them when we go antiquing because uh you know i, I still eventually want to put permanent taps in the side of my my beer fridge instead of having like the oh i thought you were instead of seven like the party yeah. you know tap that i got right yeah. now sure it cooler would, to yeah, have exactly. I, like every that. time we go antiquing, I'm like, like God, those would be so cool to have tap handles. It would be so cool if you could get one custom. Yeah, but that's like a, for you your, know, that's a whole you know? different animal. Yeah, I mean, the ideal awesome one is just to have something to with like dry erase on it, so I can just or like chalk or something. That would but, be cool. like, yeah, yeah, that way you could write what's on it. Basically, yeah. that would be cool. Yeah. Um. So I have one one last story here, real quick, which was there were this was so weird to me speaking of weird buys and stuff. So this woman bought 4,000 download cards for Alan wake. They were bought from some like game store or something like that. And everyone she's tried to activate doesn't what? work. So she contacted Microsoft and basically what it looks like was that the, the store never activated. Why would she buy 4,000 of them? Yeah. They asked her that. And her answer is basically the short answer is it's funny. Is she it? explains the long answer is that I'm currently in the process of making an Alan wake two fan video. That's inspired by the live action cinematics. And as soon as I saw the listing, I had a vision in my mind for a scene that would use an absurd amount of those things. After that's done, I'll probably cover a wall in my room with the cards because that sounds funny. Also, I just love Alan. I've wake. heard Alan wake two is really good. Yeah. yeah, me too. But I can't understand why you would want to like wallpaper a wall or you know a room with a bunch of these cards, or why you would want four thousand of them. Because like, why wouldn't you just buy one? Uh, she paid like two hundred forty bucks. Doesn't for make any too. sense to me. But yeah, I just thought this was a whole weird thing. But it was like, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the generational thing where we always look at the you know the old generation looks at the next generation and goes. Why is Man, that you guys funny? Are you? Idiots. <laughs> yeah, right. And this yeah. feels like that, right? Like I feel like the old man here looking at this, going, "How is this funny?" Like it sounds to me like you wasted two hundred forty dollars. Yeah, hundred percent. You could have bought me half of a, a PS5. Yeah, with you that dumb money. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she could have went to Patreon.com/slash Salty Language. And giving us that Whoa, money. <laughs> pop up ad for Pizza Hut. What the fuck? Meat lovers supreme. Oh my god, I'm aroused. You know, I. So here's yeah. here's something for you. I know you don't see a lot of commercials because of how you Hell consume yeah. TV, right? But if you happen to see a Pizza Hut commercial, I think they're turning their saturation up to make the pizza look oh. better. Their green peppers are like really green. The pepperoni is really, and it's not just on one TV. I've seen on three different devices, like on my phone, my TV, and our living room TV. And those are they're two different types of TVs, and they're you, didn't you know different that settings. Just the flavor saturation has turned up, Brian. It must Actually, be, it's not. But it was like that's pizza, a... I was like, this is not what it used to be. It's okay. Yeah. yeah, it was it used to be a king that, pizza I was hut. Like that, it's a smart move because it does make yeah, the food look a lot better. I mean, everyone who's everyone who's you know? taking like, food pictures on Instagram knows that, <laughs> right? Yeah, because the last time I got Pizza Hut, I got like pepperoni and green pepper, and that pepperoni was not as red as it was in the commercial, nor was the green pepper as green as mm. it was in the commercial. It was, you know. But again, I know commercial food always looks better because they have a stylist, and a lot of times it's not actually, you know. Yeah. There's a lot of times it's not it's actually all what the food serves. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's a fun dive uh, on the internet is to go down watching videos of um, uh, food yeah. stylists making stuff. It's ridiculous some of the things they do to make make things look like food, and it's not even something you'd want to eat. Jokes or whatever, on you. you know? <laughs> Yeah, I love eating a, a sandwich with like nine thousand pins in it, so it yes. stays where it's supposed it's to. It's a danger sandwich. Delicious. Uh, <laughs> like, oh, I got another pin. <laughs> the flavor pin. Yep. Oh man. So yeah. Anyways, I don't know about this Alan Wake shit, whatever, but whatever. Dude. Whatever. Yep. All right, well, let's move to the Q of the W. All right, y'all. Last week we asked you guys, what is a ordinary task that you find extremely embarrassing to do? Uh, on Instagram, yeah. the king of Instagram, as I've dubbed him, our pal Shortside yeah. says, asking a bartender for a quote-unquote passionate kiss or a slut dragon, slut, when <laughs> the missus wants a cocktail. Why can't she just like whiskey sours like me? <laughs> yeah that reminds me there's an episode of um futurama where uh bender goes up to the bar bartender and he's basically like um what is it i'll take a fuzzy navel and the girliest drink you have and the bartender goes so two fuzzy navels <laughs> yes exactly yeah. i'm sure that's not futurama's joke that feels like an old dad joke it's still but, good though. it know. still holds up yeah right <clears throat> um oh why wouldn't it reload as a bar racer reading over here on a uh, face page brian oh of course also most relevant oh my god dude my the pop-up oh, yeah. windows over there i can't select hold on why don't you get the cheetos real quick i gotta i gotta fix this oh my goodness oh my gosh all right so cheeto says uh what he finds embarrassing is taking a piss in an occupied public bathroom Oh, um, has he got the pee guys? Yeah, he's like, I don't know why if it's really embarrassment, but damn, do I get a shy bladder situation. I'll be standing there at the urinal, wang in hand, just counting the spots on the wall in front of me, waiting for the waterworks. Now, if I have a couple of beers, this 46-year-old walnut-sized bladder knows no bounds as to where it will relinquish Absolutely. its waste. Now, you know, it's interesting that it was that it's pee that he, that he mentions because – I could see a lot of people probably it's more of like, you know, if you got to drop a doozy, right. you know, like walk in the bathroom, there's like, you know, the urinals are full. There's someone in the other stall and you're like, dude, I'm not shitting with an audience. <laughs> not you not <know>? again. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm just going to go in the back of the store in a corner or something. Right. You know, uh, <laughs> he says salty selections. He said none this week, boys. I really don't embarrass over most ordinary tasks. I guess back in the day when I was buying Magnums and a pack of rubber bands, I was probably a little red fist at the counter, but I can't really think of anything else in my adult life. All right, perfect. That's fair, too. I think, you know, we, we talked about that last week, too, that we're both similar in that, that for the yeah, most part, at this point, we don't really embarrass much. Whatever, dude. Yeah. Uh, Diamond yeah. Top Fan Kiki over here says, washing the dishes. I don't know. I, yeah. Apparently. Really? Um, Marie, she says, giving a speech. Ah. Mm. That's a good one, actually. I hadn't considered something like that. Yeah, a lot of a lot of people obviously have right. fear of speaking, of public speaking. I should say not just fear of speaking. Yes. Uh, Diamond, top fan, big dev. He just simply says, mm -hmm. existing. Oh, Devry. Oh, Devry. You silly And goose. then, uh, Benno. Says removing my clothes and walking naked to the shower at the gym, and then and then he adds from two oh. episodes ago, I'd I'd see Ozzy with Randy. That's a, mm, that's a fair good enough. One. That's yeah. a good call. Yeah. Now see, Heno's problem is he's just not old enough. Yeah. Now. You dude, know, once he you get yeah, old just enough, you don't out. care, and it's balls out. Exactly. Yeah. Just slapping slapping yep. your thighs left and right as you're just you know sashaying old to gray the balls shower. just dragging on the tile. Yep. <laughs> isn't that a, I think that's a folk song, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think so, Brian. Old gray balls. Yeah, gray I, I heard that once uh, on an old jazz album. <laughs> <laughs> I 
like, oh, hey, did you get the new uh, uh, Bloody Stool album? Like, oh, you it's know, a dusty like... artist, Bloody Stool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Of course it is. Why would it be? <laughs> yeah. Well, let me explain why he has the yeah. blues. <laughs> I'd be sad, too. <laughs> He's got the reds. Exactly. And he's giving him the blues. <laughs> Uh, and then he sings about his old dragon across the tide. <laughs> oh, good lord! Yeah, I'd be, I'd be, I would also be very bummed out. His smash hit, you know. <laughs> oh, Christ! Woo! All right, that was fun. Yeah. <sighs> that all we got then? Yeah. All right. Oh, oh, got goodness, it. Woke up at. Woke Jeez. up at three in the morning with heartburn thanks to Taco Bell and Little Caesars. Which don't you dare blame don't you dare blame the <laughs> which Little it might have been the Diablo sauce. Which uh when you like tape your mouth shut so you sleep at night, feels like you're gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bet, yeah. So here's a question. Did you try any of the Diablo sauce on the oh, pizza? Oh no, because I actually have special hot sauce for my pizza. I've oh, got that right, Melinda's man, pizza man. hot sauce. It's so Dude, it's yeah, so good. Nothing else shall touch my pizza. I was actually looking at their All website right. yesterday going, oh, I can buy it by the gallon. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say Excellent. a gallon, huh? <laughs> Do they sell tap handles? <laughs> now we're talking. Uh, you just got one of those vats they have like for ketchup <laughs> at the fast food places with the pump Dude, on the it. Yeah. It really is so good, though. Yeah. I don't think I haven't had that, right? No, I just yeah, tried that. I got one of those little baby bottles at Walmart. But I, I need to get a bigger Aww. one because I'm almost out. It got a would. nipple on it? So good. I'd give it to my right. kids. Can you milk? Oh. Oh God, I feel like I'm gonna die. All right. He's like, what are you doing? Dude, I had I had leftover Taco Bell for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just down here drinking beers. It's a it's become a problem. Yeah. What can I say? Uh be all right. Anywho, so what number am I picking? I'll tell you, I'm picking three. I'm not even, I'm not even gonna give you a choice. Three, three. Right. Oh man! All right. This one's probably oh, gonna cool. be a tough all one. Right. Perfect. Here we go. Here we go. Whoops! I accidentally. I, I Oops! I did it second. again. Britney Spears. Man, Thank you're you. on top of it today. Yes. I don't know. Sorry. I it's all right. These here. things happen. Uh, all right, here we go. What forgotten trend from your childhood should make starter a comeback? Starter jackets. Have they? They have. Yeah, starter jackets have, have. I mean, if you have like a vintage starter jacket, you could probably sell it for what you paid for it back no when we were kids. Okay, so oh, yeah, so those came back, so that's that's right out. Saturday morning cartoons. Yeah. Because that shit answer. disappeared. Cause, and I miss yeah, it. There's, dude, there's whole, legitimately as a... As a uh, forty, soon to be forty-five year old man, God, I got this bug flying around. There's some Saturday yeah. mornings I wake up and I go, I just want to turn on TV and watch cartoons. I don't want to search for yeah. cartoons. I want to just turn right, them on and see right. what's playing. And that doesn't happen yeah. anymore. Just turn them on. And they're on. Yeah, that yeah, sucks. That's fair. Yeah, because I mean, unless you turn on like Cartoon Network, yeah, that's the only real game, option bro. you got. For... Oh yeah, that's yeah, right. I have just that's antenna right. and yeah. streaming. I want to yeah, turn on the local even... channel and not see some dummy mm -hmm. speaking at me about the slap chop or the news or show me the Smurfs or something. Yeah. You know, Garfield Fair and enough. friends, where are we at? That's a really good answer though. Cause that, yeah, that for sure for has sure. died. Yeah. Again, unless you, you know, pull up a streaming yeah. service or whatever, but you're right. Just turning on like the local TV. I'm not going to lie. Channels. I've tried to replicate it. Guys got, got you a little fucker. Yeah. Um but it's it's a totally different vibe when you're like, well let me open up Max and see what cartoons I got. It's like, no, yeah. I just wanna I wanna flip it to like Fox and I wanna I wanna hopefully mm -hmm. catch X Men. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. You're hoping for yeah. Bobby's world or some camp something. Camp yeah. or something. And yeah. Instead it's just disappointment. Right. Yeah. That's that's a really good answer, man. I got another one too if you want it. Good arcade. All right. Oh, that's a great answer. Yeah. 
because it's, it's just not, not like it's not it was what it when we used were to kids. be. It's not what I'm used to. Yeah, you can yeah, just, you go to yeah, an arcade like a arcade now, and it's uh, either like racer games that are crazy and overblown and huge, or it's like, yeah, oh, I can, right. it's a game I can win tickets at. It's like, no. What if I want? What yeah. if I want to play Arch yeah, Rivals? They're, they're and way they're expensive. way expensive too. You know, when we were childrens, they were you know basically a quarter a play or maybe up to a dollar at the most. Yeah, what, basically, what if I want to fuck shit up at Galaga? Yeah. Tough. Well, you have to pl- pull it up on your uh, yeah, it's PlayStation. Just, it's not, it's not the, same. the same though. The the buttons are not. So it's it's standing different at a cabinet on, on is a... completely different than sitting at home. Yeah. Yep. S tier, sir. Thank you. You are correct. Man, those are some good answers. You you crush that one, man. Catfish. Shit. I mean, I could go old man and say, you know, playing outside. <laughs> uh, Remember when kids <laughs> used to use their imagination? Drinking from the hose. I mean, I, actually, I don't. <laughs> you know, getting locked oh, yeah, out. That's, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. You ain't coming in unless you got to do deuces. <laughs> Even then, maybe. Yeah. Even then, maybe. <laughs> Depends on if I'm taking right. a nap or not. Oh man, I really like to eat. Yeah, the, the, feel the, free to steal just, one. I don't care. Your answer. Yeah. yeah. Well, no. I mean, I'll just throw. I'll just. I. I'll throw the. Not so much playing outside, but I. I really think. Um, just experiencing stuff. Like, because I noticed there's a lot of kids that just don't seem they to do have. Yeah, and I know it's old man rant, yeah. but it's like, but you know what I mean? Like, my, my, um, <clears throat> excuse me, my whatever nephew was over the other day and he's 13 and, you know, we're out in the yard and everything. And, uh, like my mom, they, you know, were, they were digging in the dirt to oh, move yeah. some shit Looking around or whatever. Right? And they, yeah, yeah, right. You find some work. He's just like, you know, and it's, and my mom's like, Dude, look, they're not gonna hurt you. They're, they're delicious, just worms, you know. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just like handfuls, like, like she's yeah. the boogeyman. <laughs> I'm coming to get you. Um, got to get that wrestling reference in there once a week. Uh, but you know, I I don't think he's really ever been around him. Like, and you know, she talked about like a ladybug. Uh, like last year, she remembered, you know, a ladybug landed on him and he just freaked out and I, and all this. And I, and he's that way with a lot of bugs. And I'm like, I don't think he's really been taught. Like, you know, like b- bees can be dangerous. Spiders could be dangerous, but generally they're not that bad, you know, but it's like, there's a lot of bugs and stuff that they ain't, they ain't going like, to do shit to us. Like if they don't it looks like a us. military attack chopper. Stay away. If it's big and right. fluffy, it's cool. <laughs> It's yeah, like, okay. dude, yeah. yesterday, I, 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 I probably sound like a, a little girl over the weekends. We're getting in the car to go, well, buy Creepy Kermit and all that. <laughs> and this fucking yeah. bumblebee blew, flew by. I'm like, hell yeah, bumblebees are back. Because <laughs> we, in our, like, <laughs> bush back by my garage, uh, it, it flowers. And there's we always get a ton of bumblebees. And oh, they're just so yeah, dopey. Yeah. You know, I just love them. <laughs> Right, and no, they, they leave you to fuck you. alone. They sound angry, but they're just yeah. these big dopey things. Yeah, yeah now wasps yeah, are a whole wasps different story. Right face like, wasps just wasps are like the cats of the bee family or whatever. <laughs> like that, like they'll just fuck with yeah, you just to no, fuck. Not with a fan you, of wasps. You know? but, like honeybees, whatever. Yeah. If you don't fuck with them, they won't fuck yeah. with you. <laughs> right, but that's what you know. I was just kind of saying, it's like. He doesn't, I don't think he's experienced a lot of shit that like we experienced as kids that, you know, it's like, it isn't life changing type stuff, but it also, it's like when you're walking around, you know, like you see bugs and you're not just like, oh, you know, and run away from them. And, I, and like, once he's been kind of exposed to them, he doesn't seem to really have a fear yeah. to him, you know? And I think it's just, I, I just don't know if like in his brain, he hasn't been taught like whether this is dangerous maybe, maybe, or it's not. Or- you know I mean, mean, maybe it's one like, of those things where, you know, so, his parents are not a fan of bugs, too. And they're like, oh, God. And then and then it's like, oh, yeah. shit, I should watch out for those, <laughs> you know? Yeah, right. You know, but it's like I've seen a lot of kids that like you just see stuff and it's like, I get it. They don't play the way we did. They, you know, things are different, even though, you know, we said we spent tons of our youth fucking sitting in front of a TV Hell playing yeah. video games. It's no worse Hell than the yeah. phone. I still do. You know? 
Yeah, but you know what I mean? But it's like, so I don't mean it in that regard, but it's just, there's a lot of things that you see them and it's just like, they have no clue how to do so or how to behave around certain things. And it's just like for our generation and older, especially, it's just like, what the yes. fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> you know, because we were doing that from the point we were little kids kind of. You know what thing, happens when I know? see bugs, Brian? I spread democracy. You, you know, yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Grab my breaker and go to town. Yeah, I mean, if I see ants or uh, like spider type things, I mean, I'm I just start flinging. Dude, for the longest time, and like where I do a lot of my testing at work, I had this daddy long legs had this big ass web. I'm like, ah, fucking spider, bro. And then through the winter, yeah. he just died. Was, I got really sad. Uh, <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, spider, yeah. bro. Way to bring I us know. down. I was 20. like, my, my yeah. spider buddy's dead now. That sucks. There was a spider in uh, the house I grew up in, in the mailbox for a long time. And I, I forgot, I had some nickname for him. And my dad and I used to just joke about it. We just fucking yeah, let it be, fucking you know, whatever. Nope. Just the mail, they didn't give a shit. It just stayed in there for a long time. The mailman was like, I'm not a big fan of the spider being in here. And I'm hey, like, buddy, he ain't hurting anybody. That, that dude pays rent. Leave him alone. I like him. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I like him more than I like I don't you. mind seeing spiders <laughs> in my house. They're They're doing work. It's like I'm I come in, you know, right out by the door here. When I go to come in, there's there's a lot almost through the summer that there's always spiders out there. And my brother has a fear of spiders because he'll be like, There's a big spider right there. And I'm like, Yep, and I just unlock the door. Like I don't you know, I'm not like, Oh god, and you know, like setting the house on fire or something. You know, because again, it's like I know most spiders in this country are probably not well, really plus, gonna hurt me. You've seen so. the horrors of EDF. You know how to deal with a spider. <laughs> <laughs> true yeah but you know what i mean it's like i i just am like this thing's not gonna really hurt and it like you said it does good work it kills mosquitoes and other things and exactly. whatever out there that's why i said it's hilarious to me how many people are afraid of spiders but not afraid of mosquitoes they just are annoyed right. by mosquitoes and it's like but mosquitoes actually transmit if deadly you look diseases. it up <laughs> number one killer of human beings mosquitoes yeah that's what i'm saying right? Isn't s-tier it funny, murderers like, people are definitely <laughs> Yeah, definitely terrified of spiders that, again, in America, especially yeah. where we live, most of the spiders are not going to do more than maybe give yeah. you a little bite, you know? They're generally not killing you. It could happen, but yeah. it's very rare, you know? Mosquitoes can transmit yeah, exactly. all sorts of shit. <laughs> just transmit anger. That's all they do for me. Yeah, we just wave those away. It's like, well, hey, get away from me, you know? It is. It's strange. It is strange. But anyway, yeah. So, yeah, I think it's... I'll go old Perfect. man answer, but I really liked yours. Yeah, the the because those were definitely two things that we did growing up that uh, don't Sad. exist much anymore. Because I haven't been in a place that called itself an arcade that I felt like like that. Yeah, you know since like nickel world and that was more sad in a lot of ways because a lot of games didn't and the last work time and... i was at a proper arcade that I, that felt like an arcade would be um when reset still had cabinets oh yeah before they switched yeah, to the, whatever the it is now the board, where i was just whatever. like oh i never want to come here again cool <laughs> yeah i forgot about that you know what you're i i'll agree with you on that 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 was cool because there were some of the games there that were yeah, for sure from Dragon. our what from our youth yeah simpsons, the simpsons what? yeah for Hell yeah, now we're talking. Yeah, me and T played a lot of a lot of those when we would go there for another after we'd all, like, well, after, like, trivia. A lot of times me and him would head over there for another. And then we'd usually end up well, playing some to. games. You gotta be there. So. Might as well. Shit. Yeah. Little shit. Right? So. All right. Well, head on over to saltylanguage.com. Uh, you can find... I am, yeah, there'll be a couple links from this episode, but you can find our social media links over there. You can also find a link to tangentboundnetwork.com, which is the network we're part of. Uh, so if you are looking for a network for your show, come join us. And, uh, yeah, if you happen to talk to Mark. Let him know we're going to passionately deep kiss when we see him. Yeah, wow. We, all right. Like all three all of us? All the same I mean, time. We, okay. All right. I just wanted to make, you know, I just wanted to mentally yeah, exactly. prepare for it. That's all. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. So I got to make sure I'm grabbing two. Absolutely. Asses. You know, it's like, I, you know, I just, like I said, exactly. I want to have a game yes. plan. The you know? <laughs> yeah. Or something. <laughs> oh yeah. man. I want to name the show. <laughs> Aspecta. It's like the Triforce, but with kissing and asses. <laughs> oh my. Oh, my. <laughs> Hyrule Very never saw this coming. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my, indeed. All right. If you want to reach out to us on social media, you can find us on, find me on Twitter or find the show on Twitter at salty underscore language. You can find me on Twitter and a couple other socials. At Thank God Stunami. you have an established account. It'd be a shame if you got charged. I don't know, I don't know how that yeah, dude has right? any money left. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can find me on Instagram at the monotony. I also run the TikTok at Salty Language. If you want to check that out, Salty Language Pod on the YouTubes. If you're watching us, thanks, preach. If you're not watching it, you can yeah. just give us a, a subscribe, a like, make a comment. Why not? But Join where we us. really want you to shine, which I really need to plug this up front. In, in going okay. forward is patreon.com slash salty language where we are putting up weekly bonus content last week it was almost like an, an additional show yeah it really was we we, yeah, we, we, we flipped went, our flappers for over an hour last week yeah. so for a low low cost of three dollars a month less than a cup of coffee now you can enjoy mm -hmm, mm -hmm. plenty of bonus content there but brian you got a little side sitch oh. well really quick what, oh, what are we going right. to be talking about this week? Speaking of our we childhood, do we're going to be talking about... Oh, we're talking yes, about trauma? we're going to be talking about trauma. <laughs> I don't remember the dude's name. Let me get oh, the link no. going. It's going to be an episode of The Crazy Life? Um, Larry Hamas. <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce his last name. Oh, the guy from the, the, the Easter Joe. Joe. We're going to talk about his yeah, top yeah. ten favorite Joes and the five he hates the most. <laughs> oh, Plus, nice. it's G.I. Joe. This. So, okay. you know, we, can, we, we love our G.I. Joes. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Love that. Yeah, I also have a podcast called The Crazy Life, which is me and our friend Heno talking about uh, just, you know, things we're going through in our lives and whatever. Just, you know, two guys keep talking about real Dude. stuff. No, <laughs> talking about like uh, mental health stuff and uh, uh, recovery and addiction and whatever. And just how we're trying to uh, navigate the world as two very sensitive flowers. <laughs> Anyway, just but yeah, if you're into two that old kind of thing, balls dragging easy. across the tile, <laughs> just two. I mean, I well, I mean, each one of you is a ball but... in the scrotum of life. Oh, okay. <laughs> in the scrotum yes. of life. Oh, that's that's a way different picture than the circle. <laughs> scrotum of life. <laughs> oh God, can't wait to hear Elton yeah, John know, sing right. that He's one. Probably has before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just picturing fucking Mufasa just holding up a just giant just big nuts. ass balls. <laughs> just, and all the animals are like, yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Oh god. All right. Ooh. Yeah. So all right. Yeah. With that, uh, have a very um, I, I've had a couple catfish. I feel great. Yeah. Stay right. salty, also. I've been catfish too. I didn't feel great afterward. <laughs> I did get a statue and some Funko Pops I mean, out of it. At least you got some out of it. All did right. all right. Yeah. <laughs>